This thing on? Alright. Hi. You, sir. Uh, after me? Okay. Hi, I am Scott with the On the Trail with Kevin and Scott coming to you live and not at all direct from middle suburbia, Florida. Yeah, so if you hear a lawnmower in the background, you know what's going on. I'm Kevin, the engineer. We thought for once, rather than just hear us, you'd get a chance to see us. Yeah, and prove that we have a face for radio. Well, that's true, too. Uh, so what we're going to do is we were doing some maintenance on Scott's Jeep. Uh, rotating some tires and looking at some wear stuff. The stuff you need to do on your Jeeps too. And we discovered Scott had a small problem. Small problem. <laughs> this really used to be the rear bump stop to his Jeep. He found my marshmallow collection. And it's kind of... Crumbly. Falling apart, folks. Uh, it won't take too many more hits before this goes away. And uh, true to Scott's form, he's like, oh great, now I have to buy more stuff. And one of the yeah. points of this video is you don't always have to buy because somebody may in fact have some replacement parts left over in their parts bin. <laughs> now, this is a universal uh, uh, Daystar urethane bump stop. Sorry, I had to get all that in my head. That was a long <laughs> sentence. And it's a cut to fit, folks. You don't put it in this long. You kind of take the two, and we'll show you that, and you see the little marks, and we'll go over that. But what we're going to do is show you that it's not really hard to do. A lot of people make a big deal over changing the bump stops in a Jeep. And if you haven't figured out, this is a wear component. You really ought to figure out how to do it. Oh, I know where it's at. It's down there. <laughs> We're cut back to when we get the tire off, because it's Scott's Jeep. Wait, wait, he he wait, gets to wait, jack wait, wait, up wait. the Jeep. Safety first. Oh, sorry, upside down. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Jeepo. Uh, I sent Scott off to find another bag of zip ties or two, just to keep him busy. Uh, we're going to use a couple of tools for this. I thought I'd show them to you real quick. Simple job. Four jack to lift the Jeep. An air gun to take off the tires. These are a pair of water pump pliers. They are used to pull the bump stop. A couple of different pry bars. I'll probably only use one of them to put it back in if I need it. Some PB blaster. A jack stand to hold the Jeep safely in the air. Some additional blocking because I want it a little bit higher and I'll show you how that works. And of course, wheel chocks. We're going to be lifting the Jeep on a jack and it could roll, particularly on my driveway, which rare in Florida is a little slippery. Sorry for the squinting, but the sun is out. And then last is an optional tool. While I have the tires off, I'm going to check the tire pressure. So let's get the Jeep on the jack stand and get started. Hey Jeepos, just want to point out, as you saw through the first video, we now have the Jeep up on jack stands, chocked on both front wheels so it can't twist. One thing I wanted to note is you notice I have solid 4x4s under my jack stands. I need a little more droop if you're doing this to get the spacing in the springs large enough to get the busted bump stops in. And if we bring the camera in, you can really see this one, it's untouched. And it's just going to pieces. I don't think it's going to stop much in the way of a bounce. So now, let's take a moment. I'm going to go grab the tools and we'll get this old bump stop out. All right, folks. Uh, one of the things I do got to say to Scott is uh, pretty clear you got a leaking rear main seal here looking at the, the oil spills everywhere. I know. Hand me a zip tie. Yeah, more like the Exxon Valdez. Now, here's the trick to getting these out. Just grab them and lift and twist. And in this case, it's going to come out in pieces. And this is why we lift the spring up, and there you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Good. <laughs> All right, we're in my garage now. I have the luxury of a bandsaw, but you can do this with a handsaw, a hacksaw, uh, probably even with a sharp razor knife. Can you do it with a seesaw? No. All right, wise ass. Uh, you can bleep that. You can see here that. This is pretty much the line. I could cut it shorter, but this is probably a good to leave it, leave it be a little bit longer because Scott is running slightly larger tires. All I'm going to do is take this one and set it aside. Turn on the bandsaw. Go to the second line. And roll it carefully through. And now we have a custom bump stop. So back to the Jeep. 
Hey folks, just a quick sidebar here. I thought I'd show you. This is the cup that's up in the uh, spring perch. This bolts right up into the Jeep. And you can see in here, hopefully, that there are some very small indentations and they lock into this. So there's your old one. This is a newer factory one. This is a reproduction. It's a staged bump stop. Uh, as opposed to the urethanes we just put in Scott's, this is foam, so it's a little softer. Uh, it's very, very good for the front, but it doesn't work well as you can see in the back. But I just thought I'd show you what you're working with, because sometimes it's easier to visualize you know, how the whole thing goes together. All right, Jeepal. We finished trimming down our, our bump stop, uh, cleaned up the edges up here where we push it in. Now this is the one place where it can be a little bit of a challenge uh, getting it up in here. It can be a little sticky, a little rusty. So either some blaster like we talked about, or I'm going to actually throw a little bit of grease just around the top to help it ease in. And we're going to do a couple other things. Number one, I'm going to wipe off the grease. We're going to work this through the coils. And then I'm going to let it sit here. And to make it a little easier, because the coils are pried and you see the difference, I'm actually going to jack the suspension up a little bit. As well as kick the lug nuts all over the place. Not going to take it off the jacks, just going to get it up to where I'm working a little flatter. Notice how the cup has moved back into position, or actually the axle has shifted. We're going to try the short bar first. Not on the first try. There, on the second try. Popped right in, nicely seated. Can't move it. Now, you notice that the bump stop angle is kind of back. I'm just gonna check, yep, it's tight. What happens is the arm swings up, the bump stop will meet the bottom of this uh, bump stop and you won't have metal on metal. So that was all it took to get the uh, the bump stop in. So there's some minor challenges, but overall it's really not a hard job, so it shouldn't scare you. All right, one last step, Scott. Oh, what's that? Ooh, got it covered. You got it? Yeah, how do you got it covered? No? No. Yeah, it's a good idea. Can't hurt. I'm already in trouble driving around with exposed lug nuts. I am not going to touch that one at all. <laughs> there you go. Click Thank away, you, my friend. Absolutely. Well, Jeeples. Uh, we didn't paint Scott's Jeep. We're back in front of my Jeep for the moment. We had to escape the Florida sun. Uh, so we're recording it all about six feet away in front of mine. Uh, we just wanted to let you know uh, that uh, we appreciate you watching. Um, we hope you learned something, uh, that maybe some things aren't as scary as people make them out to be. And uh, Scott actually got to use a tool correctly for once. <laughs> Breaking down some of the mysticism, and we actually enjoy the fact that you guys checked out this video. If you're checking out the video and haven't listened to our podcast, on the trail podcast, uh, dot com, yep, and or, uh, uh, available on iTunes, iTunes, Spotify, and all that. Uh, Kevin's got a lot of great techs, tech support stuff. <laughs> I don't know. He's he's a smart one. I'm the I'm the fart joke guy. So, anyways, for those of you who know, we, we enjoyed this. We enjoyed you guys joining us um, and getting a peek behind the things I still need to fix, like a axle seal leak or two and three. <laughs> and uh, other than that, uh, we hope you enjoyed. And thank you for watching. And Kevin, anything else? No. Nope. Uh, look for our other videos. We're going to start doing this more frequently. And if you really like what you see, uh, consider supporting us on our Patreon page. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, we are totally self-funded and would like to stay away from going to any vendors or ads or anything like that so we can keep these videos as well as our podcast listener focused as yes. opposed to sales focused. Exactly, so with that, again, hit the like and subscribe button. We have the usual, all the social medias, check us out. And uh, I think it's time like we always end. 
it's time to put the Jeeps in four low. Yep, lock the hubs and hit the trail. That's right. And remember to take the pictures, memories, and your trash when you leave the trail. Yes, please take the trash. That's right. Bye, guys. Bye.